All right, folks, so the Yankees lose game two to the Baltimore Orioles. Davey Garcia did a wonderful job. His line may not show it, but I think Garcia showed even more than his first start in this game. I'm even more impressed with him than I was before he even came up, where I was getting a lot of mixed reviews about, you know, where he could be in a rotation. But let this guy keep going out there. Let him keep making starts. Now, that's not the problem of this game. The problem of this game came when other Yankee top prospect, Clark Smith, got to make his debut. Now, he didn't make his debut in a, you know, a 9-2 game. He didn't make his debut in, hell, a 7-3 game, 7-4 game. He made his debut in a 4-3 Yankee lead, runners on first and second, two outs in a 60-game season. Where a lot of the year is already gone. The Yankees are now fighting to be in the postseason where just a couple of weeks ago, it was a sure bet. Right now, the Yankees are fighting and they need some damn leadership. They need some legit leadership. Who's running the boat? Who's the captain of the ship? Huh? Who's the general? Do we have one? Or is it the team of nerds that come out of the basement to say something of when to make a move? Because I'm sorry. All year I didn't rant. It's been a while. But Aaron Boone has got me going. I have Aaron Boone derangement syndrome. I started this when he became the Yankee manager and fans will panic. And I said, give him a chance. I said, give him some time. Let him manage. Let's find out who he is. Give him a second, would you? I've given him time, folks. And yes, I get it. The Yankees are depleted. They're hurt. They're beat up. They're injured. Everybody is out. I do not fault the man for that. Okay? Because it's hard. Yes, there's going to be tough times of making calls and whatnot. This season is unlike any other. I said it early on. I said, man, the great thing about this year is you can really manage that pen well. Go with your best. Big games, put your best in there. All right? This game is is, is odd. Let me start with one thing first. Clark, you guys know how highly I think of him. I've reported multiple times how high many of the people are I speak to that give me updates on prospects think of Clark. Clark made his MLB debut today following the prospect many people think he is superior to, Davey Garcia. He didn't start with a clean inning. He came in with first and second, two outs, pressure moment, one of the Yankees' big games of the year because they have to win. They are in no, no area right now to take a loss and be like, ah, maybe we could have done this. No, there should be no second guesses now. You got to make the right move. You had two options. In this case here, per what I believe. Garcia's last at bat, he did not look bad. He still looked like he could get somebody out. Boone took him out. All right, I don't fault that. You had Miguel Yahude, who looked very good the other night. And you had Nick Nelson, who throws hard. Hasn't looked too good since his debut. Fine. I get you're kind of backed into a corner. But you need one out. Now, again, I'm playing devil advocate with myself here. Nelson could come in, give up a three and home run. Miguel Yahude could come in, give up a double, a single, a triple. Who the hell knows? They may not get anybody out. But my opinion is you still make that move just because... You know Clark has the possibility of finishing that game off. Seven innings. Let him finish it. You only needed a few more. Let him finish it. You get out of that fifth. Let him finish the game. Go with him. Ride him out. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Ride him out. Don't let your young starter make his MLB debut in a big game for the Yankees where they cannot just lose games right now. I see somebody even mentioned, well, you know, who else? That doesn't even matter. Either you let Garcia go one more, or you go to Yahoo or you go to Nick Nelson. 
Let them go for that last out. Hell, if they don't get the out there, go to your next guy. Then go to Schmidt. Make it be your last decision. There has been multiple, multiple calls that you can call into question. And look, I get it. When guys are injured, yes, it's a lot easier to pick apart a manager and go, yeah, you kind of know this wasn't the right move. I get that. You're not playing with your right team. I understand that. This, to me, was just horrible baseball management. I never believe in that. And this is not even a guy where, for an example, let's just say uh, 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 Phil Hughes or a Luis Severino, where the Yankees had an intention to say, maybe we'll start letting this guy get work out of the pen so we can use him as a relief pitcher down the line later in the year because that's where we feel he could really help right now. Smith could really help the Yankees where he's been playing all year in the rotation. That's where they also need help. And I'm not even getting started on the Yankees possibly passing up on deals on Michael Givens from the Orioles and Archie Bradley of the, Re uh, of the Diamondbacks, as I was told today. The Yankees were seeking those deals. Apparently it cost just way too much for Cashman to improve this club. To even bring it up as an idea to the Steinbrenners. What the hell? That's where we are right now. That's what happened in this ball game. The Yankees drop another one. The Bonehead drops another one. And I'm not saying they would have won this game. I'm just saying. Manage your team the way a team should be managed. There's no reason there. Nelson's been pitching out of the pen. Miguel Yahude, a lot of people already believe, yeah, he started a lot. He's also come out of, out of the bullpen. And we also believe that might be his ending role. Schmidt is your top starting pitching prospect. Again, I say it. Many people believe he is superior to the man that was on the mound today, who again looked very good. Why, why would you bring him in a spot? In a huge game for the Yankees. Because every game is. Right now, every game is. Aaron Boone is not on my happy list right now. Not at all. If he's even the one making the decisions. So tell me again. Who's running the ship? I feel like I'm chicken in the 90s. Chicken, chicken, chicken in the 90s. Yankee fitted, chain bling, denim jeans, diamond ring, hustle. Stay okay, Sicilian rustic name your way. Boy, status, non figure, blueprint, like jigger, fast life, bottle, liquor, our time, cow.